The Solaris Synchrotron is an amazing device which allows for groundbreaking research of the surface, the inside and the structure of materials. Synchrotron creates unprecedented capabilities for the scholars because it is the sole source of electromagnetic radiation, the light of such unique properties. Synchrotron light is amazing because it includes a broad spectrum of electromagnetic waves. To carry out a measurement, devices located on the beamlines pick a certain length out of that wide spectrum. Smooth changes to the lengths are possible as well, just as in the radio when we search for a particular channel. Also, the synchrotron light is exceptionally bright, often a million times brighter from light created by other available sources. Thanks to these characteristics, many measurements can be conducted only in the synchrotron research centers. Such measurements are quicker and more effective, while results are qualitatively better from the traditional methods. The Solaris Synchrotron end stations test numerous types of materials, mainly solid as well as ultra-thin layers, which can be a single atom thick. Amongst the tested materials, there are different kinds of electric conductors, metals, alloys, semiconductors and insulators, as well as mineral samples and so-called composites. In majority of cases, synchrotron measurements are conducted in the ultra-high vacuum. Hence, it is necessary to prepare samples properly. It is crucial, especially while studying the surface of objects. To reveal it, the sample needs to be purified in vacuum chamber through the process of breaking, bombarding it with ions of noble gas or heating it in a few hundreds of Celsius degrees. The measurement subject can also be created by placing its thin layer over a selected base. Sample measurements take place in analysis chambers. These hold a special place for a sample, which is targeted by synchrotron light while equipped with suitable detectors to analyze signals. These can be, for instance, number and energy of electrons emitted from the sample or the number of photons emitted after radiation has been absorbed. This way, the Solaris Synchrotron end stations can test the chemical composition of a sample, its atomic and energetic structure, as well as electrical and magnetic characteristics. Both chemical and electron structure of samples determines their essential characteristics. Studying them, we find how does it conduct electricity and how it reacts with light and magnetic field. This knowledge is inevitable in designing more efficient electronic devices, for instance, processors which are faster and use less energy. Materials used in the solar panel production have been tested for years to increase their capability of turning solar power into electricity. Finding more about magnetic characteristics of materials can help to produce faster ways of storing even more data. Diffraction studies of protein structure and other biological molecules lead to increased knowledge of life processes and help to form new drugs. Many of the synchrotron measurements are fundamental and their purpose is to obtain new knowledge on the material structure and their inner processes. This knowledge lays the foundation to the discoveries and finds a practical application. Fundamental research stands behind the LED lights and modern TV and mobile screens. Many industries use the synchrotron research, for instance, aviation, automotive, chemical, pharmaceutical, electromagnetic, energy, and the food industry. The Solaris Synchrotron is the accelerator of the innovative economy.